Hi, this is Gabrielle Dixon from TeachingSpecialThinkers.com, and this is a quick product preview of my Sports Clothespin Tasks Pack. I use this pack in my classroom for students with autism in grades K through 2. However, it's very um, functional for other classrooms, pre-K classrooms, first grade, kindergarten, um, if you're just looking for a fun way to, for students to work on their basic skills. These products, um, these clothespin task products have become such a staple in my classroom. We use them daily and my students love them and it's something they can all do independently, which is absolutely amazing because they enjoy doing them, they can do them independently, and um, it's a great way for me to collect data while they're doing it. So we use these clothespin tasks at my table time activity center. And if you're interested in learning more about that, you can go to my blog and go to classroom tour and then go to table time. And if you go there, you can kind of get a better understanding of how I set up these tasks in bins. Um, but I do tell you directions, you know, obviously you want to laminate these for durability. Um, and then you attach the, you can attach the pieces to clothespins. You don't have to use clothespins. They're not strictly for clothespin tasks. You can use Velcro. You can make them into file folder. You can make them into cookie tray activities. Um, they're very versatile. So I made some labels for each activity. Um, there are 12 activities in this pack. And what I do is I cut these, laminate these, and then I tape them to the inside of a clear bin. And then I stick the activity in the bin and that kind of helps me know what's in each bin as well as for some of my students that are able to read I can tell them get out football counting get out stadium spelling however in this center we do match up letters and numbers so we can give students three tasks to do and they match up the letter to the bin um, and then they know they have to do those tasks before they're finished there are 12 tasks included in this pack. The first one is stadium spelling. So you just label each clothespin with a letter. I like to use letter stamps on my clothespins because sometimes my writing is a little hard for my students to read. So um, using a stamp make sure that it's a very clear A, B, S, whatever the letter is, um, and it makes it look a little nicer too. Um, so we have lots of different sports words for them to do some functional spelling activities. Even my students that cannot spell, that can match by letter, this, they can all do this activity and they like doing it. So it's great letter matching practice. You could always give them the uppercase letters and have them match up the uppercase to lowercase letters. can really get a lot out of these tasks. And there's lots of words. Okay, and the next task is a one-to-one -one correspondence task. So um, this is for students that really need to practice counting and um, that one-to-one -one matchup. So they match. You don't have to do anything with the clothespins. You just match. You just put so many clothespins in a bin with these, and they just you cut around the football, and they match up the clothespins to the amount of dots. Um, the next task is soccer practice. So this, these little guys are just kicking some balls into the net um, so the students just match up the numbers to the amount of soccer balls they see. Um, base 10 batting practice. So the students just count the dots and then match up the number. I really like this one. Who won the game? So these are for probably some of my students. Some of my younger students, I might just give them the one-digit numbers to 10. And then for my older students, I'll give them all the numbers, so up into the teens. So they're just telling me, they're just clipping on the bigger numbers, so telling me who won. Um, this is just a letter matching activity. So you could print off two of the lowercase and have them match up lowercase to lowercase, or you can print off um, all of it and have them do uppercase to lowercase matching. Um, so this is um, tennis time. So this is time to the hour. Students just match up the tennis balls to the tennis rackets. Uh, field goal shape match. The students are just shape matching the shapes, the footballs to the field goal. Um, these are patterns. I love working on patterns, and my students all really need to work on them too. So I always include them in my packs, but all the students, I glue on the this piece to the clothespin so they just clip it on to finish the pattern. 
Um, this is a basketball bounce. Um, there's so many different things you can do with this. You could do addition problems, subtraction problems. Um, I listed some options here as well. You could draw dots on closed bins for students that are still learning how to count um, and match numbers. You could write number words on closed pins for students to match up. So you could write the actual word one and they have to match it up to the number one. You could write numerals on the, clo on the closed pins for students to match. Um, so actually write the number 10. Sorry, I saw a typo there. I will fix that before I <laughs> post this. Um, and then you could also draw tally marks. There's so many different things you can do with these activities. That's why I absolutely love them because they're very, very, very versatile. Um, this one is ABC Curveball. So a couple options I gave you here are writing lowercase ABCs on clothespins or like I said, I use stamps that I got at Michael's for a couple dollars because they are very clear letters um, instead of me writing the letters with a Sharpie. Um, and I just make a ton of them and I pull them out each time we change um, tasks, which I change them probably like once or twice a month. Um, I just reuse the clothespins over and over again, and I get them at the Dollar Tree very, very cheap. Um, so, sorry, we can write uppercase ABCs and match uppercase to lowercase. You can write words and have the students match by beginning sounds. Um, lots of different things you can do with that. And then the last one is just um, a color matching activity, or you could write color words on clothespins and have them match up the color words to make it a little harder. So those are the 12 tasks that are included. Um, if you would like to purchase this product, you can purchase it at my Teachers Pay Teacher store. The link is right here, or you can just search Mrs. Dixon. Um, you can also search teachers, Teaching Special Thinkers, and it will come up. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me at teachingspecialthinkers at gmail.com. Um, and follow me on Instagram to see my latest products. Thank you. Bye.